So, what is today? Um, today is um, Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> if it's Tuesday, we're going to learn about high voltage power supplies. Wow, high voltage. Yeah, and this is very, very important. You know, when you say high voltage, um, I remember when I was a, a child, um, there was um, uh, those um, signs with... Uh, High voltage. Uh, high high yeah. voltage, yeah. <laughs> high voltage. No, don't touch it. Yeah, basically, the, you know, the mains voltage. Yeah. So everything like laptop chargers, like phone chargers, mm -hmm. like anything what is connected to the mains, Yeah. they probably have a, a power supply. And the power supplies, you know, we are saying like high voltage. But it's like 220 volts here or 110 like in the United States. Mm-hmm. We are considering that like being high voltage. All right. Compared to what we did before, like, you know, 12 volts. 12 volts, yeah. yeah. Before we start, before we start short, yeah? Mm -hmm. What was the power input last time? So, uh, you remember that the power supply was set up like 20 volts? Yeah. And it was outputting 5 amps and we uh, were getting out like 10 amps. You remember? We, yeah. Yeah. So, how much was the input power? It was 12. 12 volts. No, the input power. I'm, I don't. I didn't ask the voltage or the current. I asked the power. Oh. Oh. Or what? We learn how you calculate the power. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so how you calculate the power? Uh, power you calculate the uh, voltage uh, times uh, amps. Yeah. So yeah. what was the power? The uh, input power. Mm, okay. Can... So how much is the input power? If five volts, five amps, and twenty volts. Oh shit, this is like a hundred watts. Yeah, you see? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so it was a hundred watts, yeah? Yeah. Now you see, going with the, with the voltage high, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. We can trade the voltage for current. Yeah. So uh, let's see at 200 volts, yeah? Okay? Okay. We know that we have 200 volts. All right. What, what the current has to be for the same power input, yeah? So for the 100 watts power input, how much has to be the current? Like, uh, like um, 200 milliamps. No. Uh, what about 500 milliamps? Oh, right. We, we, Five, we, yeah. can <laughs> we can negotiate. We can negotiate. So no. 500 Five, milliamps 500. or 200 volts. Yeah, it's 100 watts. 100 watts, yes. yeah? Yeah. Hopefully oh, it's that. Mats. that yeah. Mats. <laughs> so you see, you go high in voltage and the current goes down. Yeah. Just to keep the same output, the yeah. same power. The same power. Mm -hmm. Actually, power input. High voltage power supplies. We're going to go quick, yeah? Quick. Mm -hmm. So quick, just to understand the power supplies, they are working with DC voltage. But on the main, yeah, mm -hmm. you have 220 volts uh, AC, yeah? Yeah. So first you have to change it to DC. And you need a rectifier bridge, right? Then you need a capacitor, right? Mm -hmm. Just to understand what do you need to change the AC, in, uh, DC, the, to change AC, from AC DC, to DC. DC. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. and then you're gonna have DC, yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. So we'll not be using actually 220 volts just to, you know, to prove the point how those uh, are working. Mm -hmm. It's kind of dangerous, you don't think? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll be using exactly the same design, same schematic lower voltage yeah? and we're gonna push some current just to simulate the you know actually we have high voltage okay so what do we have so what do we need actually mm. we need probably lower voltage right yeah we don't need 220 maybe i need 12 volts yeah, oh, yeah. good then we need some current mm -hmm. but what is important I want to separate, yeah, the output from the mains because you can get electrocuted. You understand? Okay. You cannot put no. a tweezer on the mains. You'll get electrocuted, right? Yeah. Even if you touch one wire, if you touch the live wire. Mm -hmm. So we have to separate the, the input from the output. Okay. And how we are doing that? How we can separate? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Mm -mm. 
What about using a transformer? Huh? Sounds cool. Mm -hmm. So here we're going to have the MOSFET, channel and MOSFET, like before, right? Here we're going to have the PWM, also plus and minus. We will be using 20 volts. for the beginning. Minus, plus. All good? Okay. And here on the output, we're going to use, obviously, a different coil. Here you'll have AC voltage, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, being AC high frequency, you don't really need a rectifier bridge. A diode, it'll do the job. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then you need a capacitor to smooth uh, that spikes from the frequency and then you need a light bulb because this is your load clear okay okay perfect so is this schematic it will work or not you have core on this transformer so the input is completely separate from the output so if I connect this to main I will not get electrocuted on the output you know what I mean Mm. Or what is not clear? Mm. But those are not connected. How, how are not. Yeah. It's a transformer. Okay. Transformers, you have one coil on the same core with, a, with another coil. Mm -hmm. Magnetic field. Induction. Induction. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, the magnetic field from here, yeah, which is created by this coil, it would get inducted on the, on the other coils. Okay. Doesn't matter how many coils you have on this transformer. Mm -hmm. mm? Hmm. We spoke about transformers. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the magnetic field is from the center of the coils, yeah? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Mm -hmm. So, is this schematic it will work? That's a, always it's a tricky question. <laughs> this schematic will work. Okay, what is wrong with this schematic? This is a coil. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else than a coil. You have a MOSFET, you have the PWN generator. Nothing wrong. So, is nothing wrong? There must be something wrong. Yeah, because we spoke how we are using the coils. Mm. You cannot use the coil like that. What the coil it will do, it will charge and it will bounce back. True. Yeah? Yeah. So, you see? So something is wrong, you should tell me. You know, when the, that coil is bouncing back, it will burn the MOSFET. But you didn't say that. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so what do we need? We will not be using the, the, the bouncing voltage, yeah? Mm -hmm. But we have to cancel it, because otherwise it will burn the MOSFET. All right. So how we are canceling the, the bouncing voltage? Uh, with, with the diode? Exactly, we are canceling canceling the bouncing current with a diode. Obviously, we're gonna yeah, yeah. we're gonna short this coil. Yeah, like that. Problem solved. So not, we will not gonna have bouncing uh, current on the MOSFET. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? It is a cool schematic. Mm, simple. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's build it. Perfect. So we have here the box with the things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you will be using the, PW. the PWM generator. You see, have the capacitor. Yeah, perfect. You will be using. I took this transformer from a TV board. Yeah, so you'll be using this transformer. Hmm. Yeah. Usually, you you have the, uh, the one coil on on one side and the other coil on the other side. Yeah, but this transformer has. One coil, then has another coil, then here has two coils, yeah, for different voltages. We're going to learn that in the future. But anyway, here is your output, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, here is your input. Forget about those. Okay. We're going to learn about those two pins. On it's just a coil, yeah, so don't get confused. You see, this This is another coil on the same transformer with another voltage. You, you can use it, yeah? Mm-hmm. 
So this is the, the primary, the high voltage part, mm -hmm. and this is the output. No, you said this is the input, that's the output. No, I never said something like that. This is the output. Okay. Yeah, the output voltage. Okay? Okay. I, I, I'm pretty sure you, you said the opposite. No, nah, I can't be wrong. I can't. I can't be wrong. I cannot be wrong. No. A master is never wrong. And yes, even if bro. it's wrong, you have to accept your fault. Maybe you didn't understand right. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I, I, I'm gonna watch the. I'm gonna watch the video, and I'm pretty sure you said that. Uh, yeah. I didn't. Okay. So you have the MOSFET. You have the diode. You need the output diode. You have here the output diode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you need the output capacitor, and I will give you a small capacitor. You don't need a big one. And. Uh, oh wait, we don't need this uh, capacitor. Um. Uh, not really, because, yeah. okay, we need, but just think, yeah, you go on high voltage, mm -hmm. the current is like 500 milliamps, right? Mm -hmm. You have low current, you don't really have that problems, like with the back converters, you know, when I told you, here is high current, high, high switching, and you need that capacitor. Okay. But having lower current, you don't have that kind of problem. So the capacitor doesn't really need to be like... Uh, next to the, you need a capacitor, but not like next to the MOSFET or, uh, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. It's not that critical. It has to be there, but it's not that critical. Okay. Yeah? Good. So what do we need? We need the output. Yeah, light bulb. Mm -hmm. Light bulbs are nice. So what do we need more? According with the schematic, you probably have everything. Probably. You hide the schematic, I can't see it. Yeah, you can't see it, but probably you memorize already that schematic Everything. on your mind. Yes. <laughs> so we have every component. Let's, uh, yeah. So that capacitor can be anywhere from here. You have plus, minus. I can do it like that if it's helpful for you. Yeah. It's connected to ground. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Perfect, perfect. Let's do it. Let's build it. Go on. No, let's do it. You have the schematic here. He you said, can do it. Let's do it, but it doesn't touch anything. <laughs> okay. No, let's do it. You do it. Okay, you do it. Oh, okay, you, you do it. Okay. It's half done, you see. You yes, have the capacitor, you have the PWM generator. All right. So, we're going to start with uh, this um, transistor. Uh, you have to make a plan how you will uh, to make it easy. So how you can make it easy. You can use wires if you want. Mm. Wires. Yeah, but there, you said wires that are not good. Yeah, but we are not dealing with high currents. I mean, yeah, we kind of mm. dealing with high mm. currents at mm -hmm. 20 volts. But the idea on these schematics is not that much current. It's high voltage, but not that much current. Those are good. Yeah, four. I don't know well, what we need. I found the day. No, you can't use that. We are still dealing with high currents in order to achieve some power on the output. So we need yeah? shorter? Yeah, shorter, yeah. Probably you don't even need wires. Now listen, listen, mm. look, look here. So sure. you have the transformer. Look, no. look here. No, no, look oh. here. So you have the transformer, which is connected to plus right here, yeah? So mm -hmm. here you can solder, yeah? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then you have the MOSFET. The MOSFET, you need the drain here and mm -hmm. the source there. Look, and got, and, and that's all. You finish. That's all. And then you connect the things on the output. That's all. Okay. You see? You can do it without wires. Mm. So your schematic is ready? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's test it. Let me limit the current. Because bad things can happen. I'm gonna make boom. Yeah, one amp is fine. Actually, you know what? Let's leave two amps. Yeah. yeah, better. 20 volts. Perfect. Now let's see. Minus. Plus, 
Mm-hmm. Good. Nothing blow up. And no light on the light bulb. Increase the duty cycle. Uh, there you go. We have light. We have light. Yeah. But the current is kind of high. 600 milliamps. Mm-hmm. You go to one amp. No, 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 not that much. One amp. Now try to see if everything is right. Check the diode. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. It's hot? It, um... The transistor, it is hot? A bit. Yeah, a bit. And the diode? No, I, I cannot, <laughs> you cannot touch that one. No, you cannot touch it. <laughs> you <are. laughs> Yeah. So you see, you have like... Uh, it's taking like one amp, and that diode is mad hot. It is. Yeah? You cannot touch it. Let's bring our oscilloscope. Okay, so we have the oscilloscope. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Increase the current. So you see, one second. You see, that's the... If you check the gate, yeah? Because the transistor, it will inverse the duty cycle, yeah? So mm -hmm. you see it's up, and here it's down, down. yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you see those spikes? Yeah. It's actually the, you know, the bouncing volta voltage, yeah? Mm -hmm. The bouncing current from the coil. Mm -hmm. uh, the diode is not very efficient. Okay. Because uh, you lose current on the diode, so that's the reason why you still have some inverse voltage. So you see the output is separately completely by the, from the input, yeah? Mm -hmm. And on the output, we can see the duty cycle is there, and you have a small spike, which is probably the coils bouncing back, yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. Now, what is our problem with this circuit? What is our problem? That diode is getting exactly, very, very hot. Exactly, exactly. Diode is getting hot, you lose current, you lose efficiency, you have high current consumption. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Yeah, touch it. Touch. No, no, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Okay, so why that happen? Why the diode is, is mad hot? Why the diode is mad hot? From a very simple reason, it's shorting the coil when it's bouncing back. Mm -hmm. I mean, kind of logical. Yeah. Yeah? But, wait, um, do you need a bigger one? Or do you, you need something else? But you know what I need? Actually, I don't mind about the bouncing voltage. All what I want is to is my MOSFET to be fine. I don't want my MOSFET to be shorted. So I don't really care about the bouncing here. You know what I mean? Uh, so you um, can use uh, the um, center diode? No, you cannot do that center diode. Center diode is doing something else. You okay. know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the problem is this, this diode is carrying too much current. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what we can do in this case, you know, those MOSFET is not that weak. So, he can take some inverse voltage without getting burned. You understand? So, what I need now is to limit the current for this diode. So, you're going to use a resistor? Uh, it's kind of tricky. You know, kind of. You, you can. I can't say you can't. But the resistors on AC... Mm -hmm. oh, we didn't live, really learn how the resistor is behaving on AC. But anyway, a resistor is not the perfect component to use on an AC circuit. Remember, here we have AC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here. Yeah? AC, the coil is bouncing back, yeah? Minus, plus, plus, minus. Mm -hmm. So what is the what, what can I add here on the serial mode with the diode, obviously, to limit the current for the diode? Another MOSFET? Yeah, but it's, you know, it's like overcomplicated when it's so simple. What <laughs> electronic component you know on DC is not driving the, the, the current, but on AC it is? Capacitor? Exactly. Exactly. I told you, the capacitor on AC mm -hmm. is like a resistor. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. So uh, we can add a we can add a capacitor on the serial mode with the diode, and we solve the problem. You understand? Mm -hmm. We can add it here, or we can add it here. Doesn't matter. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So let's add a capacitor. Yeah. So the capacitor 
should limit the current which is flowing through the diode. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I will say, let's add a few nanofarads capacitor. All right. Good. So we have a 332. 332. So what is 332? Um, the first number is 3. Of course, it's saying three on the capacitor. Of course, it's three. Yeah. <laughs> the second number is uh, three zero. No, the second number no, is no, three. No, it's, it's three as well. The the third number is two zero. The third number it's is two. Two. Which which is two means zero. two zero. Okay. Yes. So what is the capacity? Uh, it's three thousand three hundred. Okay. Microfarad. No. It's pico. 3,300 oh. pico. Pico. Oh. So how, how, how many nanos? Uh, 330? No. 33? No. You move three, you move the, the, the uh, comma, three, three numbers. 3.3. .3. Exactly. It's 3.3 oh. nano. Okay. So let's solder the capacitor on the serial module the diode. And this will solve the problem? I don't know. I didn't test. But, you know, it's kind of logical. All done? Yeah. Maybe next time you will uh, mm. power off the, the power before you are soldering components. Oh. I'm just saying. You know? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see now. So we have the capacitor on the serial module the diode. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So we need to... Incre Increase the DT cycle. Wait, oh. I it's off. Yes. Yeah, it's off. Yeah, now it's on. Ah? Huh? Kind of better. Look, look the output. Look, yeah. look how, how much light we have on the output. And the current is like kind, of, kind of low. Mm hmm Ah? Huh? Yeah. You can see? The diode is still hot? No, uh, not you see? at all. You see? It's no, warm? Not even. Okay, that's bad if you told me it's not warm. Uh, a, a bit. Yeah, it is. It is warm. A bit, yeah. Yeah. So we limit the current. If You know, if the diode is cold, we can increase the current, you know, with a bigger capacitor. Mm -hmm. Well, I can feel that it's warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can feel that it's warm. So let's check with the oscilloscope. So you see those fingers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the that's the coil. That's the coil. Let's check the output. And that's the output. So now you see the coil has some uh, so some bouncing. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's just uh, I don't really care about the bouncing current. I just want to, you know, bring some efficiency to this power supply. So the MOSFET is not getting shorted, mm -hmm. and the diode is not getting that hot. And we can see, we can output more, yeah. uh, more current on the output, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, just to understand what kind of uh, isolation we have on this circuit. If you check the multimeter, because that's the idea, yeah? So check the multimeter. Yeah, all power of the, all power of this. So if you check the output, yeah, with anything from the output, with anything from the input, yeah, you should not have a resistance, yeah? Okay. You understand? So what That's the separation idea. Yeah, what, what should I Yeah, check? you can check that one with the, with the minus of the capacitor or with the plus, doesn't matter. You see? It's not showing you anything on the multimeter. Mm -hmm. Because physically speaking, yeah, the wires are separated. It's nothing from here touching with something from there. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. And every, like, TVs, laptop power supplies, phone power supplies, whatever, has this kind of design. Oh, so they have a trans uh, transformer that separates exactly. the... Exactly. Okay. Easy. Exactly, like anything, like anything. I will show you a power supply, one second. Check here, this is a switching power supply, yeah? Mm -hmm. So what we can recognize, we cannot recognize IC because we haven't learned yet about ICs, yeah? 
Yeah. And I'm trying just to delay learning about so ICs. So th this is a transformer. Exactly. Which separates this part from that part. Exactly. It's exactly yeah, on the middle. On the, yeah. Exactly. So on the output, check here. On the output, you have that diode, this mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you have two capacitors. Two yeah. yeah. And you have the output. And on the input, you have, look, look here. So that's mm -hmm. the input. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do we have here? Here we have a fuse. Then you have the rectifier bridge. Check here. This transformer, this is not a transformer. This is a filter. Filter? Yeah. What is this doing? Is filtering something? What this is doing? Very simple, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you have 220, right? 220 volts, yeah? Mm -hmm. AC, AC, looks like that, yeah? Mm -hmm. AC, here and here. Now, this kind of filter is doing exactly two things, yeah? So it looks like a transformer. It looks like a transformer, but it's a transformer with a secret. Here you'll have, basically, you'll have, usually you'll have a capacitor. And here you'll have another capacitor. Wait, it's transformer with a secret? Yeah, it has a secret. It's not like a transformer. No, no. Oh, Check it. You have okay. two coils. It yeah. is a transformer. You call it a transformer. Mm -hmm. But those coils, yeah are opposite. So uh, let's say, as soon as I'm applying the voltage, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, probably the coil, it will bounce back, right? Yeah. Because if I have constant voltage, these coils, it will do nothing. Mm -hmm. You understand? So uh, these coils are, uh, one coil, it's 180 degrees compared with the other coil. So when this coil, let's say, I have, when I plug first time on the, I plug the power, or it's an electric shock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the power is going from 220 to 240, so let's say that, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, obviously, the coil, it will eat this shock, yeah? Mm -hmm. It will consume. Okay. How the, how the coil it will consume? It will charge yeah. on the magnetic field. It will create a magnetic field. But after that, the coil, it will bounce back, mm -hmm. yeah? So this coil, it will be bouncing back like that, and this coil, it will be bouncing back in this way, opposite. Mm -hmm. So they will cancel each other. Okay. So obviously, on the output, it will be no change on the voltage. Oh, so you, you, you're not going to feel that uh, No, no, body. no. All you will see, you're applying here an electric shock like this, it will be eaten by this filter. Yeah. Basically, by what coil is doing, charging and bouncing back, but it will be no bounce back because those are uh, opposite. So it's like a protection, not to... Yeah, one, this is one thing what yeah. it's doing. The second thing, here you have switching, and we check the switching, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. this, uh, uh, this is not letting the get the switching noise outside to the mains. Okay. You don't want the switching noise of a power supply going onto the mains. Mm -hmm. So basically, you know, if you, if the noise is getting out, it will get in on your other electric things. Remember with my 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 ham radio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you remember, and we check every power supply which is making noise. Oh you remember the, yeah. yeah, and you put it on every <laughs> single wire. Yeah, yeah. You put that thing. We install like a ferrite. Uh, yeah. Reading or I, I, I'm not sure about the name. We installed that kind of uh, filter on every cable, uh, and which, which you, has a switching you power will supply. Not want to know how many wires are on my computer? Yeah, yeah. We have a lot of you know devices <laughs> oh, like with switching power supplies. Every single wire checking. Okay, makes sense now. Okay, you understand? Yeah. yeah. And obviously you have two capacitors, which, which the capacitor will do exactly the same thing. You have electric shock. The shock, it will be a little bit eaten even by the capacitors, yeah, mm -hmm. because the capacitors are charging, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? But also the capacitors are here because they are uh, sending to ground, like, high switching frequency, right? Mm -hmm. So they are driving AC, you remember? Yeah. But obviously the uh, those capacitors are like 50 hertz at 50 hertz yeah 
the capacity really to not send that much mm-hmm. uh, current. But when you have a switching which is coming from the power supply, we like 100 kilohertz, yeah? Mm-hmm. Kilohertz. Those capacitors are acting like wires. Okay. Because the higher is the frequency, yeah? Yeah. Uh, bigger capacitor, it will act exactly like a wire. Okay. Clear what this filter is doing? Yeah. Okay. Good? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to hold for a while on learning about IC and chips because uh, when you start speaking about chips, it's end of fun. You know mm. what I mean? You speak about... It, it's so sad. It's it's sad. For me, it's sad. It's a big drama? It's a big drama because, okay, what do we have there? Oh, we have an IC. And how we can check the IC? Oh, you can't. You have to, you know, put it and see if it's working. If it's not working, yeah, probably the IC is dead. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's kind of strange. So basically, this chip it's replacing the old PWM uh, generator Mm -hmm. and obviously many other things. We're going to learn about uh, chips very soon. Okay. But I'm still trying to hold you to understand what is inside of these chips. You see, Mm -hmm. those all things from here are inside of that chip. So the MOSFET is inside of the chip. You have the, no, the diode is not. You have the PWM generator is inside of the chip and mm-hmm. are still few things inside of that chip. Okay. Good? Yeah. Good. So starting from the next lesson, I'm going to ask you, yeah, to tell me how we can limit, how we can, uh, I want fixed voltage on the output. Here I want to charge my iPhone. You understand? I want fixed voltage. So uh, we'll... It looks looks simple. Mm-hmm. We done it already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you cannot use like before wires from here to here because this has to be separated. Yeah, you understand. Mm-hmm. So we have somehow to interact on a different way with the input. Okay. And that way it will be using optocouplers. What the hell is that? Ah, uh, you're gonna learn next time. Yeah, I'm just telling you what it's. Is like for my you. octopus. <laughs> nah, not no, not really. You'll see, you'll see. Okay. So uh, let's stop here and see you next time, yeah? All right.